What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Idle Heroes. Today we're over here on the PvP slash PvE slash Amun-Ra level 17D account. Alright, we got some stuff to do today. We're gonna go for a double completion. Not that I really need to or should, because this is, again, this is the orb event in between, I would say, the best orb events, um, because... So far as the devs have said, not that this is actually the way it's going to work, we don't know how long it's going to go that way, um, but their plan was every two months to launch a new hero. So this is kind of the dead month, quote unquote, where there's no new hero coming out, so essentially they try to spice up the events with good old heroes, or better old heroes, kind of like, you know, you got King Barton and Horus, pretty solid heroes, Bell Rain, not bad, um, but... Next event, um, the Prophet event should chase the Heroic Summon event as normal, so the new hero will drop, and then the next week you can get it from orbs, so most people are going to take their orbs and then do double and triple completions, whatever they have saved up, trying to chase that new hero down, because most likely it will be OP, and it will be good, and that's, that's how the game plan is. So we're going to go and just waste them, because it's what we do. I make bad decisions. We have 159s. We're actually one orb short, but we've got 61 super, super mega awesome, awesome, super duper amazing chips. You like that? There's a lot of adjectives. You're welcome. <laughs> Took me a lot of brain power to get that out there. Boom. Wishing fountain. Super wishing fountain. <gasps> what is that? I don't know. It's not the most OP unit in the game. Penny. Just kidding. It is Penny. We're going to try to snag one out of here, but mainly I just want to get an orb. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I'm going for. I just didn't want to spin for something I didn't want. So I refreshed a couple of times. Yeah, a couple of hundred gems went down the doop, but we got a penny on the wheel. Could we get one? Sure. That'd be great. That'd be a potential E5 penny. I'd be happy with that. So 10 bomb away. 10 bomb away. Let's get this rolling. Hopefully snag out something beautiful like an orb. Exactly what a man wanted. It was an orb. Like I said, after this, I've got what I needed. Okay, I, I just needed the orb. Everything else is a bonus. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty good luck right there. That's actually like the best worst luck you could possibly land. Um, almost full 10 spin of gold. <laughs> you don't see that every day, but you've seen it here, peeps. You have seen it. Um, <laughs> that's why I don't recommend that people buy super chips, because you can get super duper shafted by them. Now, we may still snag a penny, which would be great. We may not. Don't really care either way. I can always buy her with relics next month when she hits the relic shop, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but we've got our orb. It's all I really needed, I'm thinking. Actually, I still have no idea what the crap I'm going to do with my orbs. I don't know where I'm going with them. My brain works good that way. I just, I just roll with things. I don't actually make plans. Because only smart people do that. Wow, we didn't even get the artifact shards. Like, that's... That's new. That's a... We got one more, though. All it takes is one penny power! Wouldn't it be crazy if it landed on penny? I'd poop myself a little bit. Nope. No penny, but more light shards, so I'll take it. Absolutely. So what do we got here? How many orbs? We got 164. Plenty. Man, we got a little bit of gold out of that, though, which isn't bad. Because I've been pretty freaking broke in the old gold department. Um, still can't max out the phoenix over here. 172 out of 180. I don't have enough of this crap. We'll try to get some of that crap today, um, and I don't think, yeah, I haven't even touched this over here really. I've got mainly attack in this. Speed's primarily for PvP, if you guys don't know. It doesn't really affect anything else in the game other than PvP. So, if you're more PvE-oriented, you're not really worried about spending $35,000 to be number one in PvP, this would be the last node I filled out. These two take definitely take precedence over that. Um, huge amounts of HP and fixed attack are just great. I mean, this fixed attack and fixed HP stat essentially means a five-star hero is going to enter battle with 2.8 million extra HP. So that actually is pretty profound, being that most heroes don't have that, even at 10-star, without this fixed stat. So it's kind of a big deal. That's important to pump those runes. Um, just one of those deal hickeys. One of those do hickeys. So what are we going to do here for orbages? That's my question. We don't have any kind of hope or prayer over here in the four, in the shadow faction, I said, to make nine star food. So orbing here would be pointless, honestly. Um, fortress. We still don't have our penny because the game shafted me on penny, which whatever, it does that. And we're not super hyper duper amazingly close to getting a, a nine star even here. I mean, we've got, what is that? Seven plus... Five, that's only 12, right, math? Yeah, 12 plus four, it's only 16 heroes. We're a hot 12 heroes away from even a nine star. So that's not actually super duper great. Plus, I'd kind of like to save onto my Ormuses, just in, that's why they're level two here. People ask me, like, why do they have level twos? It separates heroes in your inventory. Um, it's pretty simple. If you want something you're trying to keep instead of having to sort through them down here, you level them up once they go to the top of your list. It just, it's handy. 
Um, but like I said, if I do ever try to go like redemption or something, have an opinion in Ormus and like an Aiden and Asmo and like double Obi or Obi and Valk, God forbid Valk, Ugh, disgusting. Um, you know, don't want to really throw them away just in case. But we're pretty close to a 10 star food here and we're kind of close here. So I'm thinking herd hats going with a, a either a double abyss completion or an abyss and a forest. To start things out, we'll start with an abyss completion just to see. Yeah, I really want to get a penny. Odds of getting a penny in drops, pretty low. Uh, we can look at that now. That's right. Yep. Info button. Fortress. <gasps> penny, 0.23%. So not a really super high chance of getting a penny. Um, this is mainly for food. Too bad I didn't show you the replacing odds. That would be just freaking fantastic. I'd poo myself a little bit for those. Game, where's the... I need that button right here, devs. That's the next button you need to add. Ritthar. I'll take it. Um, crap. Now I'm in a dilemma again. I'm in a dilemma again. <laughs> I want to push. Here's the thing. Okay, I've got a lot of crap I want to do. I want to get my penny to E5 because she's a monster. Not only in PvP, but also in PvE. She just takes massive dumps on everybody, and it's great. I, I like that. It's good. It boosts my damage overall, and it makes me slay people in PvP until merge hits, and then I just go cry in a corner because I'm terrible and everybody knows it. Um, <laughs> until then, though, I'll be doing good. Um, but also... Kind of want to test out. I had a guy tell me his five star scary landed over 100 million damage in PvE. So I'm kind of tempted to make like four of these suckers today and just see what happens. Could be fun. I'm going to stick with my original thought. We'll just use replacement branches over in um, Fortress. That would be that. That's the game plan. So let's start over here in Abyss. Beep, beep, beep. And let's drop eight tin bombs in a row ski. And see if we can get enough food to potentially make a 10 star. And then we'll swap over. That's looking hot. That's looking real good, game. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. Four stars and other four stars. Beautiful. <laughs> and the, the trend continues. Now, my luck is on point today. Maybe I should just stop and record tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, things are not... Wow. Whoa. 30 orbs in, no five stars. I'm starting to feel like all those people in my comment section. Like, Rath, I hate you. You're, you're so lucky. And then I'm like, here's, here's my four stars. Um, <laughs> 40 orbs in and not a single five has come to stay with old Rathicus. Feels good. It's whatever. Like I said, who cares? I've gotten tons of five stars before. It's not that big of a deal. We got one here. Hey, curse broken. Yeah, <laughs> and curses right back on going strong. Holy crap. This has got to be the worst, the hands down worst 80 orbs I've ever spun in my life. Gonna go ahead and say it. This was the worst. We've got two five star heroes in 80 profit orbs. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> we did get quite a good, uh, decent amount of five star hero shards though. And again, Four star heroes do get fused up, but obviously it's it's much better to just nab the five stars because you don't have to fuse anything and you you have them. Um, so that was, well, needless to say, that was disgusting. That <laughs> that was just raunchy. That was nasty and raunchy. That was like a fresh turd on a hot day. <laughs> Forest, redeem me. Forest, bring me back home. <sighs> Forest, what are you doing to me here? Why are you punishing me? Okay, I spent monies to do this. Why did I spend monies? Apparently, there is no good answer to that question right now. I don't know. I must have angered the good lord because he has been cursing me hardcore right today. We got a five star, though. We got a couple five stars. And I could just be, you know, making up for all the times that I've just done extraordinarily well. Um, and maybe we're just kind of evening things out here. Or we're coming back hard with a double five star pool. That's more like it. This is more like it. Be grateful for what you've gotten. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about what you get today. You've gotten a lot of crap over the course of your life. Just be happy. Be happy about it. We're rolling in on the last couple here. Another two five stars. I'll take you. Become mine. 20 more orbs to go. A little bit of four star action here. And a five star. Just a random one. We don't know what it's going to be. Could be something amazing. But it probably won't be. Look at that another double five star pool. So, okay. Forrest did me... <laughs> beautifully better than Abyss. Abyss kind of just bit me over backwards, slapped me around a little bit, made me feel sad about my whole life. Um, but it doesn't matter because we got some stuff. And when you get some stuff, be happy about some stuff. So over here, claim all buttons a good button. 
Give me all this business. Oh, business, 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 more business, triple business. Oh, so much business. It's a lot of business. Get out of here. Ugh. Clean that up. How are we looking here in the shard area now? <gasps> Over a thousand. Beautiful. So we're going to open all those up because why the crap not? Gonna go ahead and do that, um, because I need to. I don't need to, but I've got I've got the bag space. I have a need for heroes. I just cannot believe how badly we just got shafted in abyss. Boy, that stings. That stings real hard. So over here, they have shown the pool of loot. Finally, everything's got pretty much the same drop odds, except for a few heroes have a like a zero point zero whatever crap one percent chance higher. So you know, Edgar obviously super duper high drop chance. Um, not whatever. Are you ready for this? Are you ready to drop 20 in one of these in the same time? I am. Boop, there it is. Got a KRM. Let's go. Three roses? Interesting. Interesting. No bades. Zero bades. A little sad about that, but it's all right. But it's nice to see some of the more, I guess, quote unquote, elite heroes hit these shards. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Rosa is not as bad as people give him credit for. They say he sucks huge fat ones. He's not. He's like a poor man's bell rain, um, and it's it's not a bad deal. I've actually been debating building one. I've got three of them now. Do I have any in my bag? Roses up in this area, place? Do I have one? <gasps> we could potentially build a Rosa for our redemption aura. The reason I like Rosa, he gives you attack. It's nice. He breaks enemy attack. It's nice. And he also reduces enemy armor, which is, is nice. So he does some nice things for you. Um, so, if I don't want to build Bell Rain again, which I kind of don't want to, because I've already built Bell Rain, um, he would be like my second choice for a PvE support, just because he has he has utility. That's not a bad deal. Let's scroll back up in this area, though. Drop these Fortress Shards. Beep. Mirage. Beautiful. Drop a couple of Abyss Shards. Beep. That's old news. Nothing new there. What about here? Beep. <gasps> Another Rosa. Game. Game you. Beautiful game you. So that's a potential 10-star Rose just kind of hanging out. Can we get a Rose from here? Sure can. 4.35% chance. 375, I said. Whatever, same thing. Doesn't mean anything. Could get scary as well. <gasps> got a Sigmond. Not going to build Sigmund over here, but I got one. Got another one. So how's this area looking? I mean, we've already done everything we need to do, obviously, for the event itself. Uh, except for haven't done any replacements. And a man needs a penny in his life. So we're going to go over here and we're going to... Do we want to replace Shias or Valentinos? Valentinos just strike me as wanting to become a penny. Do you want to be a penny? Let's see if you want to be a penny. Eh, it's a lady. You're halfway there. Now you just need to trade in those hammers for a big boy cannon. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, that's not a penny. That's not a penny. But it's whatever. Like I said, if we don't get one, we don't get one. If we do get one, well, we do, and that's awesome. We can get some more Iron Bambies up in this piece. I'm down with that. Give me all the Iron Bambies. Do not care. I do actually care. Don't give me all the Iron Bambies. I don't want them. I do not want them even slightly. I want. Here's what I want. It's Penny. Okay. Spoiler alert. It's a lady who shoots things and nukes on people. It's really the only thing I want in the world right now. I don't need anything else. I've got enough OBs to E5 an OB. And I think I have an extra one actually to start building OB number two. If a man so chose. I've got enough to E5 Horus. Actually, I could E7 Horus now. Just got two from the event. Um... Really, like I said, the only hero I'm missing a copy in regular factions is Penny. That's it. Um, I eh, go in light and dark. Like I said, you can't replace light and dark anyway. I debated orbing there. But man, when it comes... Mickey, you want to become a Mickey? No, you don't want to be... No, nobody wants to become a Mickey. Let's be honest about things. Nobody cares. Ormus, I'll take you, Ormus. Hop in, hop in my bag place, Ormus. Welcome to the squad. Um, do we want to throw some Mickeys up in this place? Throw some Mickeys in here. You could become a Penny. You're already a lady. You just need to swap out your sword for a big cannon. I believe in you. I believe you can make it happen. Do it. That is, that is not a Penny. Not even close. Um, but when it comes to light and dark heroes, I mean, are they decent in PVE? Sure, they're not bad, but they also take for freaking ever to build. And when you build like a GVE team, it's pretty much that you're primarily focused on PVP. And I'll be real with you guys, PvP has just never been my favorite place to go. A Sigmund, ugh, I hate him. We're not going to build him, but you can't say no to Sigmund. He's just too cool. Ah, what the crap? Game, don't you do this to me. Scroll, scroll button. Mickey, get in here. You want to become a penny. You've become other things, but not a penny. Um, I just, I don't know. PvP, 
just doesn't really tickle my fancy. And mainly because of how kind of, I don't know, I guess, dirty this game does PvP. Like, it's literally pay to win. Like, there's, there's no way around that. If you're free to play, PvP is not going to be your stomping ground. Like, you can try to make it your stomping ground, and you can do a bunch of stuff in PvP. Um, but you're not going to be top of the leaderboards. You're not going to compete, um, especially not for a, any long period of time there. So, I don't know, I just never really liked it because it's like, it literally is all about money spent. It's not really all that much about how smart of a player you are, how good of a player you are. It's more about if you can outspend everybody else when new heroes drop. Um, but there we go, Heroic Miracle. We didn't even complete the whole Heroic Miracle with all those five-star shards. What the scrotums are we missing? We only managed to nab one Shadow five-star? Game! Do we have Shadow five-stars? Dude, I only have two of them. No, I got got Horus. Shh, shut up. Okay, don't make fun of me. Um, go ahead and snag. We want to snag out Horus? We'll snag out Jaras. She's pretty much food over here anyway, so beep, there you go. That'll be that. Now we got some light and dark heroes. Can I fuse any light and dark heroes? Is that a question? <gasps> it is a question. Weep. Uh, bup, bup. Yeah, what the crap? We'll throw a couple more of you in there. It all works out. You all go in the same place, and that is food. Oh, I can make another one. Boop, beep, pop, boop, beep. Perfect. That worked out nicely. I'll take it. Give me you. What about light? Are we doing the same way in light? Um, question. Oh, I need a vegan. Vegan? You want to get built? Absolutely. It's not even a question. Vegan? Get built. Get built upon, vegan. Um, question. Only got not many heroes left over here. So, we want to summon out what? I think we can get lucky if we summon out just eight. Sure can. Sure can get lucky, probably a little more than lucky, but that's all right. I'll take it. Boop, 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 and we'll go like a doop, doop, deep, dop. There we go. Beautiful. There's our two light heroes uh, completed. Give me that. Give me this. Give me my mail. Give me all those orbages. Oh, dumb face. Well, I guess I didn't need to spend my, my super chips for orbs. Could have just done the heroic miracle. Whatever. It's already done. It's already over. We're not going back in time because we can't. Um, we blew all of our prophet's blessings. Didn't really get what we were looking for, but that's all right. Let's pull out everything that we don't need in our bag for next time. So we've got a Shia, we've got a Penny Nader. Um, do we have anything else fortressy down here? Oh, we got a bunch of fortressy stuff down there. Penny, I need you. I need you in my life. Shia, don't really need you. You can stay there. Um, or Forest. We need three Forest heroes. I don't need you at all, so you can kind of just hang in there. Um, who's a Forest hero? I, I don't need any of you, so I can actually just leave all three Heart Watchers in there and snag everything else is Forest. Out of to bag. Come here. You come here. Both of you come here. Oh. We're getting food now, baby. Food is being added all over this place. Get in here. Get in here. Anybody else? Oh, there's more. A couple chiefs. I'll take some chiefs. We only need one chief, but we've got two of them. Beautiful. All right, so everybody else, hold tight. Oh, we got Lutz's too. I guess I missed him. We've got some four stars here. I can pull those out and fuse them up my own time. It's kind of a boring thing to do. Um, so let's continue on. Beep. Um, what are we moving on next? Shadow. We only need three shadows. We got one, two, three, four. So we'll summon out a Lutz. Leave three of those in the bag. If you wonder why I do always leave crap in my bag, it's just, it's a safety net. I usually don't need it, like I said, because they're going to pull these out. But you just saw me pull a thousand of these shards out and only get one shadow here. So it can happen where you get shafted. <gasps> We've got energy. Use our energy. Totally forgot we had it. We got five heroes sitting here as well. There's a demon hunter. Does it show you what you can get here? Of course not. But we got a demon hunter. That's all that matters. Boom. And a molassa. Beautiful. More for forest food. That's actually kind of what I wanted. And some fire food. I'll take it. I'll take the fire food and the forest food. Of course, I'll take any food because I need it. Margaret, you beautiful lady. Welcome to the team. So how are we looking here on foods now? Oh, we're good. Oh, we're 100% good for a 10 star here. How about here, though? Cut those off. I have to use my roses. That's 28. Oh, 28 plus 7, that's 35. 637. We got four more. That's 41. We only need 36. So that's five cut out. Cut out all five of those, and I'm still good to go. Would have to use the old OB as well. Don't really want to do that. Um, so instead of doing that, what we can do is, like I said, we can just fuse some stuff up off camera. Like all these little four-star doohickeys down here. Use them. It'll work out. Works all good. Um, so. Shadow, done. Fortress, boop. Oh, we got more than enough fortresses here. Um, do we want to leave our Ormuses in the bag? We got three of them. Makes sense. We'll do that. We'll just leave all three Ormuses. Come here, Shia. 
you're welcome. Welcome to the team. Um, actually, you're not really going to be part of the team. Part of the food, whatever. Same thing. Abyss, what do we got for Abyss? We got shafted hard on Abyss. This is all we pulled from the event. Beep, 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 beep. That's sad. That is super sad. We're going to pull him out, though. And then we'll leave three of you in here. We've got five, so we'll boop, 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 pull out two. And there we go. So we're totally set for the next event to come around. Way more than enough light and dark heroes. Um, I might actually start pulling some of these out. Um, just because if I do want to start building some food, I'd like to be able to do that. Um, we're, well, we're locked. We've got a decent amount over here. We could probably get like an eight-star Asmo if I really started wanting to. Maybe a nine-star. That'd be nice. The hard thing is, in Light and Dark, it's not necessarily E5-ing them. The hardest part about Light and Dark Heroes is getting them to 10-star. That's the real challenge. It's why you don't regress Light and Dark Heroes, because 9-star fodder is easy to get. The hard thing to get is all the 6-stars needed to build that 10-star. That's why you be like, why don't you just regress to ask Mogul to their account? Because that's a terrible idea. <laughs> that's, that's why I don't do it. I mean, I do some dumb things, but that's, that's up there. That's up there with some, like, some really dunce hat stuff. I'm not trying to get into that area. You know what I'm saying? But if I do want to pull out a bunch of light heroes and dark heroes, I can. If I'm starting to want to build Asmo or something, to be something to try. But to do a little bit of some kind of gameplay today, what I kind of want to do is I want to take... <sighs> so beautiful. Beautiful. I want to take four leveled up scaries into broken spaces with the new monster. Five stars. They're not, I'm not going to level them up or nothing. And just kind of see what kind of damage they can do. Um, for five star heroes, so it's something just interesting that I want to see. But do they still do they have attack steal as babies? They do not. They don't steal attack as babies. <gasps> oh, you poor babies! You don't steal attack yet. Well, it's whatever. Not a big deal. I don't care. If you don't steal attack, it's not that big of a deal. We're wasting a literal buttload of purple goo right here, but you know who cares? Who cares? Purple goo's a dime a dozen. You can get bunches of it. So that's scary number L dose. Whip. Are you ready to be a level 100 scary? Hope so. It's gonna happen. I do need to... If I was a smarter computer man, I would install a macro, okay? Or even know how to do one. I don't. I'm dumb. I think I can even program my mouse to do it naturally. Um, the thing is, I is stupid, okay? I definitely am. I bought an SSD the other day. It took me like 17 hours to realize I needed a power cable for it. <laughs> Look at that. That takes brains. Um, but yeah, like I said... <laughs> I'm new to all this still, so I'm learning. I'm slowly learning. My macro is my double click fingers. That's my macro right now. It's beautiful, works fine. God gave me two of them, actually gave me 10 of them. So, I mean, if two of them go bad, I've got eight more. And that's that's nice, it's nice to have backups. You know what I'm saying? So, let's blow through a little bit more of this stuff. We're almost there, I believe. Bear with me, okay? Bear with me, peeps. We're getting there. <laughs> We should probably throw some gear on these turds. It would kind of make sense. You don't want to go in there just butt naked. That's kind of a sad day. And of course, they have no stones on, so... Like I said, they're babies. They're going to be wee baby five-star scaries. I'm just, personally, just curious. Here to see what happens. I want to see if I can break a billion damage with five-star scaries. <laughs> Wouldn't that be stupid? Yes, it would, is the answer. Um, so there we go. We got our... We got three or four. Yeah, four. Good. I don't want to do that again. Um, so, auto-equip. We got mage gear. Beautiful. And damage versus... Uh, are we going to fight warriors or are we going to be fighting someone else? Put the antlers cane on you. Give you a little bit of a stone because why not? Looks beautiful. How about you? Auto-equip. What do we got for him? Two-piece, two-piece. That works. Uh, we're fighting... I think we'll be fighting priests. And wouldn't you know it, don't have any priests. Is this priests? Nope. Not even close. Um, so we don't have any priest damage artifacts. Not really that big of a deal. I don't know if these guys need to have reduced damage to survive. I'll throw that on you. Just, you know, make sure you, you don't die, maybe. Um, we'll start leaving whatever they get put on them, right? We only got one more to go, right? <sighs> Beautiful. Echo of death. Absolutely gorgeous. How you looking? 199,000? 200,000? You're looking hot. You guys are all looking pretty healthy for scaries. Now, I'll realize this would not work without a maxed monster. That's my, that's my guesstimation. Um, the reason it's hopefully going to work is because, like I said, these heroes are going into the battle, even at five stars, with an extra 2.8 million HP and 100,000 attack. That's a humongous boost for a baby hero. So we're going to see what happens. Well, let's go up here into the monthly events, the broken spaces area. I could fight here. Don't really care to. We're going over here. We're going to try to slay these little farts first. Then we're going to wave two because I need monster materials anyway. So, you know, it works both ways. Get rid of all these plebs losers 
garbage. And we're going to go scary, 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 scary. Look at all the scary. I'm scared over here. Make sure we get the right monster on, otherwise they will die immediately. Um, and let's see. Is this going to work? We have no aura, but again, in PvE, auras aren't important. And anyone that tells you that in a boss fight, the aura is the most important thing, has no idea how to boss fight. Okay, it's 100% not true. Um, in PvP, it's nice. Um, still not required over there, though, to be honest. If you build really great units, like if you had a team of six pennies, you're probably going to poop on everybody. Well, I guess it's an aura. Five pennies in an Amun Ra? Ooh, no aura. Probably still nasty, though. So let's go ahead, jump in, see what happens. I don't think they'll die, because wave one's pretty easy, I'll be honest about things. That's really not that difficult. But they're going to stack up a buttload of marks on these peeps, and hopefully these little scaries are going to get nuts. We're going to wait till round eight, obviously, to see how things go. Because eh, 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 eh. that's when Heart Watcher's mark becomes maxed. But I also, like I said, they're going to be picking up extra damage constantly, because they're stacking marks on these enemies. So, we'll see how it all works out. Yeah, they're dropping like a million damage though already, which is pretty impressive. Um, for like I said, five star heroes, it's not bad. We're around eight. Uh, that's a five million damager right there. So they're they're actually hitting mildly hard, um, impressively so. I'm pleased. It might take a couple energy with these five. Ooh, Seven point eight mil, not bad. Scary, you little fart. You little beautiful turd sandwich. You get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Doing two millions with the basics here. It's pretty impressive. Like I said, it's not bad. That's actually pretty good. These are five star heroes. Um, was that 16 mil? I want to say that it was. We got them down to half health and we're at round 12. Now, this is where things get interesting, though. Round 12 plus is where like your big damage is obviously stacked up. Um, and scary gets nuts toward the end. There's 10 million damage on basic attacks here. We might actually one shot. Eh, one shot would be. Hmm. That'd be ambitious. We'll put it that way. That'd be an, an ambitious goal. But not impossible. Not Im ugh, 21 million damage, you absolute monster, you. <sighs> yeah. Round 15. I don't think we're going to take them in one go. I don't think it's going to happen. But uh, actually, we, we got decently close. We, we, don't speak too fast, Rathicus. We got close. We got close. 473 million damage. Um, that's not bad. It's not bad for a bunch of little turds. Um, the lowest damage was 80, 83 million here, but they did go all the way up. Now, here's another thing. Well, yeah, these guys don't... Let's see on wave two how it looks. Let's go ahead and just smash this little fart to death. Um, we'll just use that. We'll wait. That'll be, it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and fight the wave two. Now, will they die on wave two? I don't know. That's where it's going to kind of get hairy is will they have the survivability to stay alive without a healer in the team? Eh, not sure. But, these dudes are going to hit the entire enemy team with every attack. So we're going to get four of those stacks every single turn, um, if, like I said, if they survive. So this would be kind of a better test, maybe, perhaps. Seeing how much damage they deal to us is going to make a big difference, though, of course. Uh, I don't know. Phoenix, can you keep us alive here? And Cruz has the ability to heal as well, so we might be okay. The thing is, they're not going to drain any attack, so... We're taking pretty much raw damage. We're not going to be doing a lot of, you know, sustaining here. That little dude up top's getting cut. There you go, Phoenix. Good job, Phoenix. You beautiful lady, you. I love you. You're so good. Um, so, yes, this might actually help us. We're getting more stacks put on them much faster, and that's nice. Very nice. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. All right, round eight. We'll wait till round ten to slow it down and see what kind of damage we end up getting to. But I'm feeling pretty good about it. Everybody's looking pretty healthy. No one's dead yet. That's... Plus. All right, so round 10 is here. Everyone's still alive. Heart Watcher pooping on peeps, as per usual. Is that 29 million damage? No, I bet it was. 16 mils from that scary. That's pretty beautiful. These are five star scaries. These are babies. These are weak. These are as baby as you can get, unless you left them at level one for some crazy reason. Basic attacks doing up to like almost 20 million damage there. That's insanity. Absolute craziness. Um, but we also. Now we're not going to get a monster drop. We could just get a monster drop for them. That'd be great. You know what I'm saying? Or when their active skills like go off, so they can be like, ah, yeah, 20 mils, beautiful 20 mils, 20 mils. Get in there, you little farts. Do damage. My little insect kings, poop on the peeps. Ah, yeah, yeah, uh, 
Yeah. Oh, they're doing good. It's like 20 million damage basic attacks in there. That's not bad. So over here, we had 678 million damage. Uh, wait, yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> not 6 billion. That'd be stupid. Uh, but as you can see, these five-star scaries are monsters. <laughs> Almost breaking 200 mils on these little turds is pretty impressive. It's actually not a bad run here. Um, scary, I know, got a humongous boost with this new monster. A lot of people have been saying, like, the triple scary teams are breaking 15 billion damage now against bosses, which is insane. It's really cool. Um, so I just kind of want to see what, you know, I got a little comment like, hey, I did 110 mil with my one five-star scary. What can a bunch of them do? Well, this is what a bunch of them can do. Um, they're five stars. Again, if you've got a fully maxed monster, you're probably hitting harder than this anyway because you probably got a couple E5s or a E5, you know, at least by then. Um, so, I mean, 600 million damage probably isn't super impressive to you. Um, but it's kind of cool to see, like I said, just five-star heroes, basic babies, dropping nearly 700 million damage. That's actually not bad. So there we go. And those, like I said, if you had like a team of six stars, there you go. Things get... What is six, does six star bring the attack steal yet or nay? Where are you at, six star scary? You start stealing attack yet? You don't. Um, but you'll see these active skills, um, the little marks, become much more potent at six stars as well. At five star, where are you, little insect man? There you are. You get like, what is it, 15%, um, 15%, 15%. You go up to six star and it goes to 25%. So that's a, a much larger boost. Um, that's 10% across the board pretty much on everything. Not bad increase for damage. And if you wanted to go nuts with it and go all the way to like 9 star, you're going to look at even higher boosts, I would assume, right? 10 star, how you looking? 35% plus he starts to gain the attack steal once you hit 8 star. So you're going to start making the enemies hit you less hard, boosting your own attack, obviously, as well. With 35% extra active skill damage, it said, but that actually applies to his basic attack as well. It's not just active skill damage, as you saw in the testing. He was hitting 20 million damage with basic attacks, so it actually just affects his entire damage dealt right now. And 35% again when he gets attacked, so it's going to be a big deal there as well. Um, pretty nuts, actually. That's pretty impressive for a baby scary. Um, but there you go. Just little funsies there on the side. Give me that, you little turds. I need it. I need it all. Um, but there we go. And that's not a fully maxed monster either. I mean, it could have a little bit extra bump on it. I mean, up to like extra 2% bonus damage, but also there's like five little nodes of HP here missing as well. So there is further it could go. Not much in the damage area. The damage is pretty much going to be the best it's going to be. Um, but there you go. Little funsies, a little bit of orb dropping. Not the greatest luck there. A little bit of five-star scary spankage, which was pretty fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please make sure, smash that thumbs up button and show your support, and I will see you guys in the next one.